We're we'll talking about a uh, pussy. Saffa Bryan. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Saffa Bryan. Um, Saffa Bryan. If you do, am, I, am I pronouncing that right? Go check out his channel. Give it a subscription. He does amazing descending videos. Uh, super dangerous. Super stupid. Super interesting to watch. Really great camera work. I've been a critic of his and a fan uh, for a while. I've done some of these descents in, in LA. LA is not a bad place for cycling. I remember going down Truna Canyon back there in 2016, and the guy's like, you can, you can just go hell for leather down here. It's like one way. I'm thinking, yeah, one way. <laughs> <laughs> one way to a hospital. Um, all it takes, man, is some dude out there doing an Eric Berg keto diet, just like going for a walk that day, try and burn some calories from his fatty diet, and he just walks across the road. Just then you're born. Both you guys' lives change forever. It, it blow out, all right? Front wheel blow out, just whatever. Your disc brakes grab too much. See you later. Tom Pidcock tapped his pedal the other day. I watched that video, the Tuna Canyon one with Tom Pidcock, and it's just really filmed really well. Is his name, is his name Saffor Brian? I'll call him SB. I don't want to, yeah, no. So SB did it, filmed it perfectly. And uh, I thought that Pidcock's brake locked up. I watched it late at night. Someone just sent me. I had the volume off. But actually, I watched it again today. He clipped his pedal. And then he shouted out, oil or something, which apparently is a slang term the leads writers use for when something bad almost happened. It's a slang term. Oil. Oi. Some. You know, British thing or the Leeds thing. Okay, I get it. So he didn't hit oil. He clipped his pedal. Okay. <laughs> Which just goes to show you, Tom Pidcock, how easy it is for someone like that to whoosh, wipe out. Okay, so watch these videos, uh, Saffa, you know, SB. Watch the videos, but don't try and copy that shit, man. All right? I'm 46 in a few months. I've never had a driver's license. I'm on the bike all the time, all right? I love pinning the descents. I love railing through corners. It's an amazing feeling. I just don't do it at the risk level that I know that the risk is too high. You know, the risk versus reward ratio. I just love my life too much. Some people smash down cheeseburgers and you know chicken and animal product diets, and that's their their self harm. Some people rack up you know fentanyl or whatever. That's their self harm. Some people drive dangerously. That's their self harm. Like. In my opinion, there's some descents. There's some descents you can do with relative safety, and then there's twisty ones like Tuna Canyon. One way there was just, just you know really pushing the Murphy's Law too much, in my opinion. So I love going fast. It's in my blood. My dad was a bike head, a motorbike head. You know, my brothers were a rev, a red, rev head. So it's like that's just in my blood. And I actually see the dangers that my brothers were getting to with crashes and accidents and high speed chases and all that stuff. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to get a license. <laughs> I'm just going to save the bicycles, all right? And uh, so I got to live through my brother's injuries and experiences, you know. And I've had cyclists I know who have had horrific crashes downhill and they've never ever ridden their bike ever again. You know, they've suffered brain damage, they've, you know, and or they've just been so spooked, they're just like, I'm done. You know, I promised my wife I wouldn't jump on the bike again or whatever. So, just understand. I remember talking to Lantern Rouge. Uh, it's another guy I got on YouTube but a few years back, and he he had he had a bingle. Right? He understands the risks now. When you get older, you sort of, and you have more experiences. You're like, yeah, is it really worth it? You know. So watch the videos that SB does. They're really well done. They're art. They're very artistic. They're well made. But just don't try and copy it, man. All right. Don't, especially you 20 year old kids out there, all right? You're gonna fuck up, all right? It's like parkour, all right? You know, this, this guy in the city here, so the other day, broke his leg in front of my friend, all right? In front of my housemate. <laughs> she was walking down the road, and this dude just dropped down, snapped his leg. You know, she's a registered nurse, so she could aid in assistance, but she was like, how did that happen? He just literally, his leg just snapped in half. So it's generally the young guys in their 20s who do these sort of things. And it's fun and it's, you know, it's, you get a buzz, but just understand the risk, people, all right? You're not on a closed course, all right, when you're racing down the hill like SB does. It's not closed course. You got people on Xanax, kids in the back, drop the cigarette, oh shit, and then, oh shit, something, so sorry, guys, oh my god, you're, 
<coughs> you're, on, you're through my windscreen. Damn, you're in a wheelchair. Shit, I'm very sorry. Very sorry. So you're not in a closed course. It's just the risks there are crazy, man. You got mechanical failures. Murphy's Law, you're clipping your pedals, <laughs> Tom Pidcock, you know, this shows the vulnerability that we are when we're at speed, so, you know, be safe out there, kids, um, watch the stuff, enjoy it, alright, SB ain't gonna stop making these videos, this is this is the thing that's gonna take him out, it's like those guys who do free climbing, that's just, that's just what they wanna do, alright, let's enjoy it, let's enjoy them doing what they wanna do, call it self-harm or whatever artistic self-harm whatever you want to call it that's what that's in their blood that's that's their life choice all right they understand the risks they understand the rewards they seek the rewards they understand the risks that's their equation they've done but don't try and copy it right this, this video is a, a public announcement maybe sb can do one as well guys don't copy what i'm doing all right if it's not obvious don't don't try it okay this is what i do i don't care for sb I mean, to, to go at that level with some of those descents I've seen him do, you basically have to be willing to die for the descent. Same as if you want to be a pro cyclist. Like guys like Tom Peacock and that, you have to be willing to, to for your life to be gone that day. Right? That's the last time you'll see your family and friends because you're you're committing to the descent at that level where if you wipe out, you're hitting a stone wall, all you're wearing is a freaking, you know, 200 gram, 300 gram ice cream esky helmet with a bit of lycra on your skin. All right, you hit that stone wall, you're doing a kibble lab, you know, it's, it's not going to be uh, pretty, unfortunately. So, understand the risks there, you know, it's just like, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, the very, 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 very well made videos. Oh yeah, that's right, there was a recent video, I think it was uploaded a few days ago, and it was in LA, and there's three of them, and they're going down the hill, it looked like a reasonably safe to set, you know, it's pretty wide open, and you can sort of see what's coming on, so it looks pretty, 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 uh, pretty safe, um, and one of the guys is on rim brakes, he's on rim brakes, he's wearing one of the, the vegan athletic jerseys there, and, uh, so he's on rim brakes, right, so if you want to see that your rim brakes are just as good as disc on the descents on the road, there's your answer, and if you want to, see, people, oh, what about the wet conditions, Watch the 2019 World Championships with Gianni Moscon. And just before he runs out of sugar, he's in contention for the win. Right? He's keeping up on the descents, in the wet, through the corners, even gapping some of the riders who had disc brakes. He's gapping them. Right? Just go watch the 2019 World Champs there in the Yorkshire. In the wet, cold, wet, rainy. He's on lightweight wheels, which are crap in, crappy braking service. But Gianni Moscon dropping people on disc, keeping up, no worries. And then we have Egan Banal in that wettest Giro ever, winning on carbon lightweight wheels, which are pretty crappy braking surfaces. But he's still winning in the wet against guys with hydro discs. So it just goes to show you, disc brakes do not give you an advantage at the top, top level, okay? <laughs> Another thing as well is that uh, the video I watched with those three guys, it was a week. we can't keep up with the bodybuilder. The guy, the bodybuilder guy is taking anabolic steroids. Uh, so he's got way higher blood volume so you see the other riders sb and the, the the other dude in the rim brakes we're just sort of struggling a bit to keep up with this guy in the flat and that um and that's largely due to him being you know maybe a little bit more compact a little bit more aero there but his red blood cell count he would have a superior red blood cell count due to the androgenicity of, of the compounds of the car crash almost and so that gives you more power okay so you got your cda and you've got that you know, anabolism, androg androgenic effect of the red blood cell, you know, uh, the erythropoietin boosts, and that just gives you that enhancement, right? That's why testosterone is so popular in bike racing and so popular in running, all right? Well, nandrolone, these things that boost red blood cells, EPO, etc. Testosterone basically gives you the same effect as EPO, but EPO doesn't give the weight gain, all right? That's why you can walk down the street and say, oh, that guy's on the test, he's on D-Bol, etc., because just puts the weight on if you take enough but with EPO you can't spot someone walking down the street you can only see on their wattages or their running times or their swimming times and that's a bit of digression there go check out Safa B incredible footage very artistic incredibly dangerous is what it is